Yo, what is up guys? It's Easter here, and we're back today with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. And in today's video, we're watching a gameplay of me getting 98 kills on the map Fringe in Uplink. Now, uh, since there's no Chaos Mosh Pit or anything like that, um, I'm pretty much adapting to play other game modes. But I've been having a lot of fun playing Uplink right now, just because I feel like it's like domination, but it keeps the spawns more consistent. Because there's no, not really any flips, because it's kind of hard to overpower spawns on maps other than Nuketown. And so I, I like that because it keeps it consistent and it makes it easy for me to learn spawns on different maps. So that's just my thought on that, and that's why I'm playing Uplink. I'm enjoying it, but the only bad part of it, about it is that there's not many people who do play Uplink, so I tend to play the same people over and over again on different maps. Now, in this gameplay, I'm using the M8A7. Um, with quick draw, stock, and long barrel, and then um, I'm using the RK5 as my secondary, and then running the perks afterburner, fast hands, and blast suppressor. Now I've been watching a lot of competitive Call of Duty, whether it's um, Optic or Phase or any of those uh, professional teams. I've just been watching a lot of competitive Call of Duties from past Black Ops 3 tournaments like MLG Orlando, Anaheim, etc. You guys know what I'm talking about. And so I've been watching them, and this is a class setup that's commonly used in um, the competitive scene. And so I was wanting to give it a try, because if they're using a class setup like this, it obviously means it's no slouch, because they're getting paid to play, and they're obviously going to use the best class setups that are possible to their um, accessibility, you know? And um, the only weird part about it is that there's no scavenger on this class setup, but, I mean, it's a competitive class, so they do die a lot. They don't really need scavenger to streak or anything in there. And for me, honestly, I don't feel like it's that big of an issue because on maps other than Nuketown, I tend to die a lot more off of streaks and stuff like that. Um, so it's really not that much of a factor um, whenever it comes into play here. Uh, so if I run out of ammo or anything like that, I just switch on my RK5 secondary for something else, like that Kuda I picked up right there. And um, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I feel like it's weird if I don't run fast hands on this class. It just doesn't feel right to me. So I have to stick it with the fast ends instead of running scavenger, which doesn't bother me. But I mean, it's just how it is. Um, I've played a lot of games with this class and I really do enjoy it. Um, I also just like to use quick draw stock sometimes, but it just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, honestly, I don't like running it with just long barrel stock, because I feel like I have to run quick draw on the M8. It's just one of those things for me because I run around all the time. And uh, if I don't run it, I feel like I'm so slow and I can't really do anything whenever I'm not hard aiming um, at somebody. So that's just my thoughts on it. Um, so to change the subject, I um, was asked in a previous video um, if I use control freaks or anything on my controller. And to answer that question, um, it is a no. I don't use anything special on my controller. I just use the default Xbox controller as it is. And um, I've been thinking about it. I'm uh, getting control freaks or something like that to mix it up and see if it does help my aim helps me at anything like that and if you guys are interested in seeing me test a comparison between using control freaks and not control freaks just let me know down, know down in the comment section below i'll be sure to try that out for you guys so we can make a video or something on it um but if you guys have any questions just drop them down below about anything else anything you guys want me to do i'd love to do that for you guys and um if you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you did because i've been trying my best to put out more gameplays consistently i have a couple more videos ready so I can just keep firing out the videos out more and more and try not as much to have spans of breaks because it is hard sometimes to upload whenever I am working and everything because it's hard to edit and get gameplays in the first place because I do have a lot of problems with recording software so that's why I struggle with uploading sometimes. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. This is Acer and I'm out. Peace.
Established remote uplink. <laughs> 